Hey all, welcome back to the channel. So it's uh, a Sunday morning. Uh, I had the Practical Astronomy show yesterday, which was uh, really good. Met loads of people. Um, thank you ever so much, everybody that came up and said hi, and uh, loads of you were chatting to me about the observatory build, which was lovely. I'm really glad you're enjoying the videos. And uh, I just want to say thank you ever so much for all your uh, lovely support and interest. It's, uh, it's amazing. And uh, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel if it wasn't for you guys uh, and everybody watching. So thank you ever so much. I really do appreciate it. So um, today I'm going to start tidying up a little bit. And I'm actually going to take the shuttering off. So I've got to do that with a little bit of care because I actually want to reuse the wood. So uh, there was a lot of wood used in this shuttering, so if I can reuse it, that'll be a good thing. It will save me a bit of money on the observatory build, um, and it's a good thing anyway. We don't want to just uh, burn it or throw it away, so if we can reuse it, we will. Um, but everything's gone off really nicely. I'm going to get these uh, these bits of wrap around the uh, piers cut away as well. Um, and hopefully I have had a little peek and it looks like I did put the holes in the right place and the floor didn't come up too high so uh, I was a little bit worried it might have covered the hole but for the wires but it hasn't so um, I'm going to cut that away as well so that should be uh, good and finished I'm going to crack on and uh, we'll get this done today and then I'm going to make up some uh, render or a bit of mortar mix and uh, I'm going to render the sides of this so that none of the rubble or type 1 can work its way out over time and uh, and then we can start back filling and tidying up this area. Right, speak to you later. That's all the shuttering off. I've got a little bit of work to do on the sides. I just want to backfill some earth. And then down there, uh, we've got some exposed rubble, uh, which is underneath the concrete. And I'm going to make up a cement and uh, sharp sand mortar mix and just skim that over so that everything's tied in and we can't lose any rubble uh, once we uh, start moving about on top. Uh, I've put a bit of mud on the top again, even though I just washed it off, which is a great idea. But there's loads of mud everywhere, so there's not much I can do about that at the moment. I just need a bit of a dry spell and then a clean up. Um, lovely thing. It all works with the isolation on the piers. So there's a lovely gap all the way around, uh, going down to the pad uh, from the big slab. So there's big slabs not in contact with the piers or the pier foundations at all. Um, I'm really pleased with that. It just means that if we do, if I do walk about, um, none of that vibration is going to be transferred to the piers, uh, which is uh, ideal. And really nicely for me as well, the floor levels are below the holes that I put in place for my cabling. So again, another an, another success story. So. All we need to do now, I uh, need things to dry up a little bit. I'll put a load of mud on it again now. Which, uh, it's uh, looking really nice though. So I'll get these sides rendered, start to backfill and tidy up. 
and then hopefully later this week, uh, weather permitting, unfortunately, the weather's not playing ball. But if the weather's nice uh, and dry, uh, which is what I need, uh, I can then build the office. Once that's built, we can then start looking at plans and uh, ideas of how to proceed with the um, observatory. So yeah, that's it. We're just gonna carry on working and uh, hopefully I'll be able to update you soon with a new video. So I shall speak to you soon, okay? Right, so um, I was going to hopefully get a bit of building done today, but the wind has been absolutely horrendous all morning. I'm on my own. I'd have just had a nightmare, especially if I tried to put any panels up. So I've decided today I've got some uh, cement sharp sand and some uh, cement, mix up a, a loose, uh, smooth concrete mix, very strong, uh, four to one, but nice and loose so I can flick it in to bond all of these loose bits together. And then I'm gonna face it off with a troweled render face. Um, and then there's gonna be some backfilling. So as you can see, I've got some exposed rubble down there. What I don't want to happen for it to all fall out over time. A, it'll make a mess and B, obviously, it will uh, won't be uh, serving its purpose, which is supporting the concrete base. I don't think that's going anywhere because it's reinforced four to four and a half inches thick. So it's a nice strong base. But uh, we're gonna start flicking the concrete into this rubble edge, bond it together, and then we'll finish off with a, a rendered face and uh, that should do it. So uh, I'm gonna get on with that. So uh, let's go. I'll let this uh, harden off a bit and then I'll come back and actually sort of push it in. It needs to firm up a little bit, but because it's nice and loose, it's going to get into all the little cracks and seal it up. And we'll get a nice flat face on it. But uh, we're going to be backfilling this anyway with some soil and putting a path here eventually, so it'll all be good. We'll get a trowel up, lay it up and pick all this loose up that's slopping down. Okay, so the first bucket I put on was a bit loose. So I've made a slightly thicker mix this time. It should adhere a bit better. And uh, I'm just gonna get this faced off. And then obviously once we backfill and everything, it'll be nice and secure. All right, let's get that cement. Right, so it might sound a little different. Oh, I've got a bag about to fly off. I've already lost one to the neighbour's garden. I better not let another one get blown away. It's still really windy. 
So the rendering's gone quite well. Uh, I've managed to get the sides bolstered up. There was one bit where it was crumbling out, but uh, I've given it a real good dollop of cement. And it's got a lump of wood there holding it up, so that should be okay. Um, oh, it was harder work than it looked, but there you go. Unfortunately, my clip-on mic uh, battery ran out. So the wonders of uh, trying to do YouTube uh, when you're the uh, script writer, actor, editor, sound man, cameraman, you name it. Uh, it always goes wrong somewhere. I was talking about this actually at pass with a few people. Uh, we all suffer the same pain, so I know I'm not alone. But uh, yep, yeah, it's all gone well. Uh, that's gonna hold all of that gravel, gravel, gravel and uh, type one in. I'll come and neaten that up. I'm gonna let that go a little bit stiffer. I'm gonna go hum with my uh, float and uh, polish that up. But uh, I'm not too worried about the finish on the edge there because uh, I am bringing the soil level up and there's gonna be some a, a path up the front uh, with gravel. So it's gonna hide a multitude of uh, sins. Any of you uh, bricklayers out there, you must have been uh, sitting there with your head in your hands watching me uh, with the trowel. But uh, not a bricklayer, so <laughs> there you go. Um, right, I'm going to uh, clear up. I've got to get myself indoors and feed the dog. Uh, put my feet up, I think. So uh, I shall uh, speak to you on the next episode, which uh, will hopefully be in a couple of days' time, where I will actually start constructing the office. And I cannot wait. So I shall see you then. So the day has finally arrived where I can actually start building really excited um, and it's going to be the office first which is the kit I bought um, I think I am going to need some help with it however um, there's going to be some parts that need two 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 sets of hands um, so I'll have some help coming later in the week I'm not sure you're going to be much help are you eh? you're just going to be getting under my feet most probably but um, yep yeah, I'm going to crack on with that today and uh, start this building at last Come on, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. My neighbour Ed Sheeran's got a helicopter. Didn't realise it was a Chinook. Must be on his way to the shops. 